Okay, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I know it's been three weeks and I have not uploaded a single video. That's only because I'm in class 10th and I had my pre-boards going on. But anyways, we'll keep that aside and we'll get back to the topic for today's video. And in today's video, we will display the data from our Firebase. So in the previous video, we saw how can we add data to our Firebase and we added uh, some of the data to our Firebase. So now, there's also a way to call the data and display it on the screen, right? So how can we do that? How can we use the stream builders, right? That we will see in this video. So this is my home screen, completely blank, nothing here. So what we'll do is we'll do changes here. We'll add a stream builder and then we'll see how can we quickly just uh, show all the data, which will be called live from the Firebase. And it can also be updated live live here. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so just now I made a bit of a raw layout. We had a container in our home screen. I removed that, put that in a single child school view. Inside that we have a column and then an expanded widget for some screen, screen responsiveness. And our main child, the main thing will be done by a stream builder, which will return a type of query snapshot. Okay, so in the, uh, in the greater than brackets, I have put query snapshot. So it will show an error because you have to pass some parameters. So let's pass them. Firstly, we'll have our stream and our stream will be, um, let's say data, uh, data stream. Okay. So what is data stream? We'll define that right now. We'll go in, uh, at the top of our widget. right above the return command right here and we'll return a variable of type final which will be of type stream and will also be a query snapshot because the type should be same okay and the name as we mentioned will be data stream and this will be equal to Firebase Firestore because now we're working with the Firestore dot instance dot collection. We are referring to a collection here and our collection will be uh, the ID, this dot ID, the, uh, the ID user ID, which we mentioned before when we were making all the login system. Okay. And then we'll call the snapshots for our, uh, uh, for our uh, uh, stream. Okay. So it shows us an error here. Okay. Sorry. It should not be this dot ID. It should be widget dot ID and we'll just convert it to string just to be on the safer side. Okay. So the error for data stream is gone here. Now we'll continue. So now we have to pass in a builder here that what widget will be builded. Okay. So that will be, uh, firstly we'll add a braces for giving the parameters and first parameter will be context that will be of type build context, build context, context. Okay. And then will be async snapshot, async snapshot. query snapshot and variable will be snapshot. Okay. So this will give you an error right now, but when we will code further, then uh, it will go automatically. Okay. So just don't worry about that. We'll, uh, I had a typo here. Okay. Query snapshot. Okay. That's good. So now we'll pass in some commands here that if our snapshot has an error dot has error then we'll put a uh, then we'll put a uh, then we'll send a, 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 sna a snack bar which will say that something went wrong so i'll just add it as a to do here okay which we'll make later add snack bar so this is our this is our first case 
and second case will be our that if our snapshot dot connection data connection state sorry is equal to connection state dot waiting so if it's like loading right connection state dot waiting it's like loading right now it is taking some time the internet is slow then we have to return a circular progress indicator we'll return a constant center widget and the child will be circular progress indicator okay so these were the, were the two cases so now we'll actually start uh, building our uh, main cheese the data from where it will come from we'll create a variable here which will be of list type final variable and we'll call that store docs so basically all the documents from a collection which we are calling will be stored in this variable square bracket for a list and now snapshot dot data because now we are entering into the data which we got and for null safety we'll add a exclamation mark dot docs dot map so our first variable here will be document a snapshot with this will be the type and the name will be document which we will refer it to as so map type variable i'm creating here with the name of a let's say and this will be equal to document dot data all the uh, data which we have in our document variable this right here which we created this will be this we are referring to right here in this line so document dot data as map which will be of type string and dynamic because we can also get uh, a list also an image also a link also okay so not only string we also had to have had to add dynamic the dynamic d should be small so now we let store docs dot add we'll all, all we'll add all of that to our variable a with the which we created up up there so now the id so now this store docs has all of our documents and now we will refer to each of our document using its document id okay so now uh, all of that is in the is in a map with, with with the name of variable a okay so we'll refer to that with uh, with the uh, with the json format of referring to an id and the id will be equal to document dot id okay and now we'll convert all of this dot to list because our variable type is a list okay that's all we'll add semicolon so i hope this much is clear no doubt still here because this was the main part writing this function was the main part of this video okay so now this once this is done then the rest of the process is very simple okay so now we'll return a column widget and our children will be a uh, will be a generated list will not add uh, a list here will actually generate it so that will be list dot generate and the first parameter will be uh, store docs dot length because that will ask the uh, the total number of widgets that we want to make so uh, store docs dot length and then uh, we'll make a uh, uh, like a loop here and this will be in our normal braces i will name it as and after this arrow we'll return a column here which will later remove it as a as, as a widget card and children will be our two text widgets here only first text will be
two docs and the index i and then uh, we have the variables variable names we have two variables one with name is text and second is true or false okay so we'll come here and we'll in the uh, in the commas in the braces we'll add uh, text which is the variable name okay and now we'll make some space so for that i'll add a size box with a uh, height of let's say 20 pixels and then again a text widget i'll copy the above thing it's the same and then i'll add true or false okay this this variable name true or false So now let's just see, we'll run our app again and let's see if the code is working or not, right? We have, we have an error also here, let's see what's that. Okay, just semicolon we missed, most common error. We'll hot refresh. Okay, we did have an error, let's see what's that. I'll remove this expanded budget. I think that is the problem which is being caused. I'll start again. Okay, our data is displayed here, but we are still getting an, an error here that ID does not exist. Let's see what can be the solution for this. Okay, so I just restarted the app, nothing else, and it is perfectly working fine. So what I'll do is I'll uh, give it, I'll wrap it inside a container, and I'll give it a color, colors dot red. So now these are separated here. Uh, one two three four these four uh, ids we are having and these four data sets okay so that's it for the code just don't go on much on the styling thing okay uh, that was not the main objective here our main objective was uh, just displaying the data on the home screen okay so now let's just test it out and we'll add a new uh, document here we'll go on the add button let's say uh, keep it true only and add something like okay hello there just random text we'll add it to firebase it shows uploaded we'll go back okay hello there and true it is showing okay yeah so that's done that's it for this video it was a pretty easy task and i'm so sorry that i was active for three weeks long roughly a month okay but okay the, the channel is back online and it will keep on creating videos further and you will keep on getting further updates so make sure to subscribe to the channel like this video and leave your doubts your comments down there i will be glad to respond to them okay so thank you bye bye